and David here at the LA Auto Show, and uh, we're going to go inside and check out some electric cars. So Tesla's not here, but that doesn't mean there's not a lot of Teslas to be seen here. A lot of companies are showcasing their aftermarket products, cool wheels, and an electric car. There's a whole wall of plug-in cars, including this fantastic spider. That's what I'm saying. It's a Lincoln concept. Of course, it's not electric. They don't have any plug-ins, but uh, every car company has some cool concept vehicles here. And of course, this one doesn't have any door handles. Because in the future, you don't need door handles. Here's the beautiful Ford Focus, 100% electric, and one of the C-Max things, and some other uh, plug-in fusion hybrid. Kia Soul, brand new, 100% electric. Big old electric box on wheels, but it's pretty cool. Here's Mitsubishi's little electric. They've had an electric car at the car show longer than any of the other car companies other than the Nissan Leaf, I think. And uh, this little guy is 100% electric, and it really looks like an electric car. However, Mitsubishi has this super sleek looking concept car. This is a plug-in hybrid. Maybe. Back to pure electric fun. Fiat 500. Alright, I have no idea what's going on behind that glass wall. Dodge. No electrics here. All gas. All the electric owners are saving more gasoline for your giant Hemis. <laughs> and uh, nothing electric from uh, Jeep, except this cool display, which obviously is an electric powered motor, but it's not an electric motor. They have some edges. Then they have some round. Cool concept from Nissan, the Nissan Blade, all electric. I have no idea what the specs are on this thing, but uh, it's pretty awesome looking. Oh, someone's lifting the hood of the leaf, of the 2015 leaf. That is, from what I hear, exactly like the 2014 leaf. Nissan puts the leaf in the very back corner of their display. I mean, the reality of it is most people who want to buy this car are doing their homework online. They know more about the car than the uh, young ladies here um, displaying it. A perfect example of this is the revolutionary Earth Dreams technology, which boosts both powertrain and fuel economy and can be found in all the Accords, Civics. He said, I can imagine. Art centers here showcasing some of their uh, student work and, uh, you know, some cool vehicles that you're going to be driving when we uh, set up residence on Comets and whatnot. Cute little 100% electric scooters you can just pack up and take anywhere. Brand new retro inspired organs. Not electric. Just uh, awesome. Remember Coda from a couple years ago? Ooh, lots of wires there. Now they're mulling. Mullen grabbed a hold of the Codas, repackaged them, and they're uh, all electric still. And they go, how far do these things go now? It depends. We have the original ones, the enhancements on them, they'll do 150 with a smaller pack, and then these ones will do 180. 180. And what's the price range of these? And we haven't determined that yet. They originally were around 39000 unless the tax incentives and rebates got you around thirty, and we're going to try to stay pretty close to that. Cool. 
not a toy car, it's a little $7,000 electric car. It goes 25 miles an hour, 35 miles an hour in other states, and uh, has a 90 mile range. Again, this is being distributed from Mullen. So what, what makes the saline build uh, different than the standard Tesla? Just a two-cylinder twin turbo. I'm kidding. <laughs> Still 100% electric. What we do is we change front fascia hood, side skirts, wheels, tires, brakes, full interior, rear fascia, rear carbon diffuser, change the gears which drops to 0 to 60 from 4.2 to 3.9 on the original P85. And I heard you somehow made them louder. We actually put a horizontal cut in the gears, which gave it a formula racing style on sound. Nice. Here's Hyundai's Blue Drive fuel cell. That is one of the ginormous, complicated looking piece of machinery that uh, you might be driving around. Actually, you can drive it around right now if you live in LA. There's only about uh, seven, eight, nine of uh, these hydrogen fuel stations. More are coming online. There's like the salesman said there's like 40 or 50 uh, coming online real quickly. Of course, only California. So we'll see. It's pretty cool. Pretty exciting. Pretty complicated looking. Volkswagen's e-golf, and they even have a roof rack on the top. Thank you, VW, for including a roof rack on an electric car. I don't want to like this car. It's kind of over designed, but I really love the future, retro futuristic styling of it. It's from Mini. Toyota brought some of their classic cars from the 60s, and all day there are crowds of people around these cars. There's a little Scion IQ. This guy's not electric here at the show, but they are. Um, there are electric versions of this guy in uh, car sharing programs, I think up in the San Francisco Bay Area. So how do, you, how do you pronounce it? Mirai. Okay. Yeah, so... And what will the, uh, how does it work exactly with the, with the hydrogen? Uh, so basically like it's run by hydrogen range? gas, you can fill it up, and then you take, uh, there's big front intakes in the front so that you get a lot of oxygen. And then it basically creates electricity on board throughout the fuel stack. Here's a really cool kind of layout of the entire thing. There's a fuel stack, hydrogen take, oxygen comes in. There's a fuel cell booster. So that's what kind of takes all of the electricity, amps it out, and puts it out through the vehicle. This is a very strange concept vehicle from Toyota. Apparently, you're supposed to get in it and stand up in it and drive it while you're standing up. There's the little Toyota iRoad, which is uh, going to happen. Little two seater. You can plug in your Prius now. This is a pretty simple, simplest way to get a Toyota on electricity. It's just to get a Toyota plug-in hybrid Prius. I think this one's bubble powered. Well, these are the only electric cars here in the Subaru booth. Let's take a look at Chevy. I think they have some plug-ins. There's a cute little Chevy Spark. 100% electric. This is a really fun small car to drive. And it looks like an electric car. There's the 2015 Chevy Volt. Not much difference between this and the 2014. 
uh, in January, 2016 Volt. It's going to go further on electric. It's going to have a full back seat that's not split. And uh, there'll be some more color options. This is a Cadillac that plugs in. Cadillac E L R. It's nice that they show the car plugged into a charger. The reality of it is, you don't need a big charger like this to plug in your electric car or your or electric plug-in hybrid. You can just plug it into a 110 outlet. No, no plug-ins here, but you can see what it looks like underneath one. Smart has an electric and convertible. So Mercedes has a couple of electric options. One available now, 100% electric, but this one is coming out next year, the S550. It's going to be a plug-in hybrid, and uh, should have about a 20-mile range on electric. Here's Mercedes, brand new, all-electric B-Class. It's not a hybrid, it's completely electric. And again, the range here is probably around 80, 90. This Volvo plug-in, hybrid, all-wheel drive is coming out next year. Yeah, it's the same same electric engine in the back. It's an 80 horsepower electric engine okay. powering the rear wheels. We get a gasoline engine in the front powering the front wheels. It's a four-cylinder twin turbo, so supercharger and a turbocharger or twin charge, giving you 314, 316 horsepower. Combined, you get about 400 horsepower. You get all-wheel drive and you have a 12 kilowatt hour battery that takes about two and a half hours to charge on a 240 volt 16 amp outlet. Infinity does have a spectacular hybrid concept here. No idea what the electric range is. Again, in the future, we don't need door handles. All right, let's head downstairs to the aftermarket hall. That's where we're located. Yeah, this is where we're located, down here in the aftermarket hall. It's going to be loud and the tires are going to be huge. Everything here is ginormous. This is good to know, Triple A has a service vehicle that will come and charge you up if you run out of power. Quite a few Teslas down here in the aftermarket. This one obviously has some incredible sound system in it. Here's our little booth downstairs, booth 420. We're right next to the uh, big red fire truck. cars are fast, they're 50 years old, and they're all 100% electric.